Good afternoon, CHS. I'm Izzy Cavazzoni. And I'm Bridget McCarthy. And you're watching the November episode of Inc. TV. Today we'll be recapping all the events that took place here at CHS during the month of November. To start off the month, CHS held their very first homecoming dance. Putting an end to Fall Spirit Week, Skills USA's homecoming dance was one to remember. Tess Rempel has the inside scoop. Thanks, Bridget. On November 3rd, the Skills USA hosted the first ever homecoming and made history in CHS. Starting on October 31st, CHS students bought tickets for a fun night of dancing, food, taking pictures, and seeing their friends. Six students from each grade were nominated for their homecoming court by their classmates. For Inc. TV, I'm Tess Rampel. Now back to Izzy and Bridget in the studio. Thanks, Tess. Throughout the months of October and November, CHS opened their doors to possible incoming freshmen. Run by the SGA, CHS's info sessions gave our guests an insight on what CHS has to offer. Info sessions took place in late September, October, and early November. Both teachers and students volunteered to represent CHS. Potential members of the class of 2022 swarmed the hallways on Saturday, September 30th, Thursday, October 12th, Saturday, October 21st, and Tuesday, November 14th. The eighth graders, along with their parents, came to learn more about communications. The info session process started in the cafeteria where Mr. Gleason gave an overview of the school. Everyone then broke off into groups with their student tour guides. The groups went into different classrooms for about 15 minutes each. The four rooms had designated topics that the tour guides talked about and answered questions about along the way. For Inc. TV, I'm Alessia Lebrano. Now back to the studio. Tuesday, November 7th was New Jersey's Election Day. A lot of our CHS students have strong political views and even got the chance to help their party campaign. Let's go to Bellomatic to see what CHS students have to say on this year's election. Not really, but I always heard it like on my bus because my um, bus driver always played it, so that's all I know. Not that much. I just watched on election night and that was about it. Um, I followed it because I just kind of got into looking at Kim, Qua Kim Quidano and Phil Murphy and seeing what kind of issues they had. I didn't really follow, say, things that they were actively doing on the campaign trail. I just take, took a look at some of their views just to figure out who I supported. I did not follow the New Jersey election. I have no clue what's going on. Um, I followed it a little bit. I would just see some updates on the news and I also read on the internet um, some articles about it so I could find out who the candidates were and what their beliefs were and who I wanted to win. Thanks, Bella. As November comes to a close, so does college app season for the senior class. College applications can be a stressful time for anyone involved, but we got the chance to talk to students and faculty to see what the process is really about. I think the college process overall is um, nerve-wracking for many students. Students want everything to be perfect. It helps to add on to the stress. CHS in general, although we do not provide class ranks, so there should not be um, the nerve-wracking of competition between their peers. It sometimes when you hear your friends what they're doing or the types of colleges or their scores, it kind of makes it nerve-wracking as well. Yeah, college app season is pretty stressful. I started mine in, I think, the beginning of October. So it's been like a long process. I'm applying to about 12 colleges. And I think, I think the majority of my time has just been spent trying to do the college essay, but like that means just editing and you know redoing it over and over again. So it's pretty stressful. And then doing all that on top of extracurriculars. I'd say CHS has prepared me just through the teachers. So I've come to Miss Lang for help with my college essay. I've asked teachers about college apps and uh, I've gone to Guidos a bunch of times with questions about the Common App. Tips I have for rising seniors would be to visit colleges, get a feel for um, what schools are, are like on campus because there's nothing like that campus visit, to do the best that they can academically and to stay involved. Giving students a chance to showcase their talents, CHS's annual coffee house took place on Friday, November 17th, hosted by the class of 2019. Let's go to Aiden Rosenberg with more on the story. Coffee House is an annual event at CHS in which students perform in front of peers, family, and friends. This year, the event was hosted by the class of 2019 on Friday, November 17th from 6.30 to 9. Coffee House was hosted by juniors Liam Marshall and Emma Hecht. Along with introducing the acts, the hosts also read tweets posted with the hashtag CoffeeHouse2017 and danced in their own short act. 
Though the stress was high, both council members and performers succeeded in meeting their expectations for Coffee House. I'm Erica Smarco and I'm president of Junior Class Council. So I was in charge of the contact committee, so basically I organized all the acts, I organized auditions, and I organized the set list, and I made sure on the night of everything was running smoothly the whole time. The hosts were chosen through an audition process. We sent out a survey to the class and we had them respond with who they wanted to, um, who they wanted to host with. They had to audition as a pair, and we had, I think, three or four groups audition, and we selected who we thought was best. There were 36 acts in Coffee House, including singing, dancing, reading poetry, and playing piano. Tickets were sold the week leading up to Coffee House and were also sold at the door. Along with the performances, there were also unlimited refreshments for only $2 and a brief intermission. For the Inplot, this is Aiden Rosenberg. Thanks, Aiden. Towards the end of the month, CHS students, a part of the National Arts Honor Society, got the chance to visit the Museum of Modern Art on Tuesday, November 21st. Audrey Manning has more on the scoop. Members of the National Arts Honor Society got the chance to visit the Museum of Modern Art in New York City on Tuesday, November 21st. The trip was chaperoned by teachers Shelley Ortner, Jenny Clevenger, Laura Geeson, and Laura Fallon. Students and chaperones arrived at the museum when the galleries opened at 10.30. Both junior and senior NAHS members were given the freedom to tour the six floors of the museum with friends for the day. This included getting lunch at one of the four cafes and restaurants on site, as well as visiting the gift shop. Students were also able to participate in the design exhibition by creating their own t-shirt design. At 1.45, everyone was to meet in the lobby and head back to CHS. Students and faculty arrived back in Wall Township at 3.30 p.m. Thanks, Audrey. As CHS heads into its four-day weekend, CHS students are preparing for this holiday season. Jillian Lynch had the chance to see what CHS students do with their families for Thanksgiving. Hi, I'm Jillian Lynch, and this hall call, I'm asking CHS students what they do with their family for Thanksgiving. My mom and I make homemade apple pie. My family just gathers together and we just eat food and that's really it. We just kind of spend the entire day like watching the parade and making like lots of different types of food. For Thanksgiving I get together with all my aunts, uncles and cousins and then we all go Black Friday shopping together afterwards. That's all for today CHS, now back to the studio. Thanks Jillian. That's all the time we have for today, CHS. Thanks for tuning into the November episode of Inc. TV. I'm Izzy Cavazzoni. And I'm Bridget McCarthy. See you in December, CHS.